Hey guys, welcome to dukestech.com. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to develop a tic tac toe game using Xcode and Swift. This is a demo of a working application. Okay, let's get started. Open up the Xcode, create a new project. open storyboard you need to create a board first so we need to add an asset for that you can download this board image from the net and you can add it to the assets and in the storyboard open the object library add an image view so an image view background is set it to the board image you just downloaded and we'll set the constraint to the width of 300 height of 300 constrain it horizontally and vertically in container that's it the board is set but we need to add the buttons to the squares in the board first. Open up the object library, add a button. We'll constrain it later. So now we'll just name X a row. And the font size we need to increase is like uh, 50 or so. So that it's visible to you. And we are going to copy this to all the squares in the board multi select the buttons and we are going to import that in the stack view again we are going to copy the stack view to all the rows option okay control drag Option drag it, select all the stack views by holding command and then embed them in the stack view. So we're going to constrain it now with of 300 height of 300. vertically and horizontally in container and the distribution type to fill equally so we have to do it for all the stack views individually select each stack view and set the distribution type fill equally that's it the board is set now just run it once and see how it looks like Okay, um, we need to reset it to a blank one. You can multi select the button using command. Okay, the board is designed. The next step is to map these outlets to U controller. Open up the assistant editor. So map all the outlets to the V controller. Select outlet collections. So outlet collection is an array of outlets, in this case array of buttons. We'll map all the buttons to one outlet connections instead of creating separate outlets for each button. This saves a lot of code. So 
so all the buttons are hooked up to the socket connection okay. right click and see here or here the next step is to create a button action and hook up to all the buttons difficult task right okay everything is hooked up now close the assistant editor heads back to the V controller button type should be your button so we are going to get the index of each button just create an index buttons dot index of okay. just print and see if it's getting correct index yeah given the correct index for all the buttons okay next step is to create a board that contains players it's going to basically a string of all the usernames array of initials with empty string first and then we'll initialize the board So the size of the board will be the size of the buttons. Okay, initialize the board. Just run once and see if it's properly initialized. Okay, you can see the board here initialized with the empty strings. And next step is to place the player on the board. For that, we need an variable current player so if current player is equal to x basically we are going to talk with the player if you press x next time we will display O and vice versa current player in the toggle
after we toggle the pairs but there is no issue once the player move, makes a move he should not be able to make the second move so we need to freeze it for that we need to update the board first corresponding index of the board is updated with the player who plays now and if the board index is you first check for it's empty if it's not empty that is it's already occupied by x or o then we'll freeze that position Okay, see I am not able to make the second move, only one move is allowed now. So the next step is to determine the winning logic. For that we need to create rules. Rules, um, I just already created the rule, I just copy paste the rules. Basically, this checks if the positions are occupied by the same player in a row or a column or a diagonal. So, we'll just take the rule one by one. First element of the rule and the corresponding player's position. Let player at zero. We are checking the place position in all the places of a board in a row or column diagonal. The next step is to compare this with player at portion one is equal to player portion is two. And the player is not empty. Then we just print winner is all are same play zero one two all are same same thing is fine so we'll call this function here after the player makes the move and see okay the winner is x so that's it we have determined the winning logic with this we'll wind up with part one the next part we'll see how to reset the players both positions and everything and how to determine the draw condition everything thank you guys for liking and subscribing this channel thank you